I know you debug your Python script with print statements, and guess what? Me too. They are quite useful. So today, I won't blame you, but I will give you three tricks to improve your debugging life. And they work in any context, meaning that you just need Python, no IDE or fancy tooling required. Let's dive into it and make debugging Python great again. And we start with enhanced f-string debugging. This one is just a small improvement of a regular Python print for debugging. With f-string, you can insert variables into strings and choose a formatting option. It's perfect for debugging because we usually want to print the content of a variable, but we often want to print the name of the variable too. It's useful when you need to keep track of many variables. If you use the equal sign formatting option, it will automatically print the variable name together with its value. It's more concise than repeating the variable name in your print statements. Here is a quick code example. Let's say we have a simple divide function that divides x by y. For some reason, you want to inspect the values of the function. So you quickly print them with the f-string trick. Here we use equal x and equal y to print the name of the variable as well as their value compared to writing the name plus the value. Simple, but it saves a few repetition and we hate repeating ourselves, right? The second tip is interactive crash post-mortem debugging. Have you ever wished you could inspect the state of a program after a crash, but you forgot to add a few print statements? You can do it by running your script with Python and the interactive option. It will open an interactive shell at the point your Python script crashes. Then you can import PDB, which is the embedded Python debugger, and you can run PDB PM for post-mortem. It will start a post-mortem debugging session where you can inspect the variables, show the traces, or even run arbitrary Python code. It's pretty convenient to debug the most tedious bugs. Let's take again as example our divide function. We invoke the function two times, and the second will raise an exception as we divide by zero. Now we can run the Python script with the interactive option. It will open an interactive shell after the crash. Then we can set up the debugger. It lets us print the variable with the p command, showing the context of the current line with w, execute code with the exclamation point, and start a Python interpreter with interact that lets you write Python code directly. And the last trick is the breakpoint function. It's a very simple way to set breakpoints using the Python built-in features. Sometimes we want to inspect the state of the program at a few given places, and we want to jump between them quickly. Breakpoints are perfect in that scenario. To do so, you just have to call the breakpoint function at the places where you want to interrupt the program execution. When Python reaches those places, it will open an interactive debugging session as we saw earlier with the post-mortem trick. Then you can do similar stuff like printing variables, executing Python code, or you can enter the command C that will jump to the next breakpoint. As a concrete example, we create two functions, add and subtract, with a breakpoint. Now when we call the Python script, it stops at the first breakpoint and starts a debugging session. Here you can use the same command as we saw in the post-mortem example. You can also use the C command to move to the next breakpoint. To conclude, Keep using print statements, they are an easy first step to debug your Python scripts. You can use the three tricks we saw today to make your life easier and solve the most tedious bugs. So let me know if you have other debugging tricks in your sleeve, and see you in the next one.